Kind old friends, verse 18. God still bless like. you for coming. Okay, God bless you all. Let's go ahead and do so, that. Enjoy this great family because this place is everything that we're doing. Thank you for the love. Bless you. Let me Come. tell you something. You must something. You must use something. But how is it? I will share those that you will be able to understand. Okay. How do you do that? Do that. It's here. From the day that Satan was kicked out of heaven for his rebellion against God Almighty, he has attempted to establish a new world order that would totally rebel against the spiritual authority of God. How does this apply to America? Every one dollar bill in your pocket has the word new world order printed beneath the pyramid. The words are novus ordo seclorum, which means new world order. The fact, the anarchists in the streets of America who are killing policemen, who are burning major cities to the ground, are highly organized. They have unlimited funding. They have trained... ...going on in the nations right now. Genesis 11 begins to tell us that a man under the influence of the spirit of the Antichrist, called Nimrod, the son of Cush, he began to mobilize men to build a city that did not honor God. That city is being rebuilt again. Hallelujah. The governmental policies that are being put, the ideologies, according to Revelation 13, and when you read and so on and so forth, the speakings of the peace. Remember what John saw. John said he saw a lamb with horns, and he was about to bow to that lamb. Remember? And about to bow when the lamb spoke. He saw a lamb, but he had the voice of a dragon, and immediately he said, this is not the lamb. That was what John saw, right? A mixing of the truth. Looked like the lamb, talked like the lamb, or acted like the lamb, but his mouth began to sing. He said, uh -uh, because my sheep hear my voice. And he said, this is not the voice of the lamb. This is the voice of the dragon. So there is a secret rebuilding of the Tower of Babel. This, this antichrist system You've heard a lot about the Illuminati and their agenda. And we all laugh and just think it's a figment of imagination. But let me tell you something. It is, it is the strategy of the devil masquerading itself in secrecy. But in these days, there is an open show of darkness. It's no longer a hidden thing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It used to be a secret fraternity of the elite. And so occasionally by divination, they see through the vistas of time and they had big potential people across music, across the arts and entertainment, across business. And so they come to you with a proposal to manipulate things according to their will. You become a benefactor when you sell your soul to the devil. Mystery Babylon. The ancient secret of initiation that brings men into fraternity with a system that is godless. And it is all the composition of the systems. And so they went on with every kind of demonic manipulation. Let me tell you something. I've said it again and again. I have an apostolic call. I'm not a pastor. And so I'm not one of those who will sugarcoat a lot of things. No, no. Listen. I tell you the truth. Aside from the war between Israel and the world, every war that is happening in this earth is a big drama theater and performing arts that's what it's called a secret manipulation of darkness please are you hearing what i'm saying i told you that the owner of i think it was mtv was asked and he said how come you have so much influence on the little children i think of ages 8 to 16 or thereabout and he laughed he said we don't influence them we own them we have developed a structure already that grows with them. Right? And so they have invaded everything. 
most of these organizations you celebrate are all fraternities of darkness. They have signed their allegiance. Let me tell you, Satan is called the God of this world. Have you been told? Is it not in your Bible? The Bible says he took Jesus to a mountain and showed him the glories of this world and said, if you bow, that's the only condition. Bow means sell your soul. Bow means prove that you are not equal with God and I will give you. And watch this. I began to explore especially the music industry very intricately. I don't know why the attention of darkness has moved very closely to music. Right? The highest advocates of the Illuminati are businessmen and musicians. Right? Please listen to me. Very important. I'm showing you the structure. We're going to talk about the emergence. I hope is the, I'm, I'm talking about the prophecy now. Darkness. The word darkness there does not necessarily just mean like absence of light, sunlight. A system. And remember the Bible calls certain classes of spirits rulers of darkness. That means their dominion is magnified when there is no light. They are not called rulers of light. Rulers of darkness. And so they have controlled the economy of nations. They have controlled everything. Almost all the music artists that have been killed. Right? All of those people you, you used to know are people who at one point or the other started violating their allegiance because they looked and they found out that this is a system of injustice, a system of darkness, and any attempt to revolt will cost you your life. Please listen to me. I have seen many things I'm not one of those who stands on stage and begins to prophesy national and all of that. But let me tell you, on the strength of my secret place, the Lord has shown me many things. And one of the things that will begin to happen upon the nations of the earth is an open show of evil. Is it? They, they have masqueraded it until they built sufficient structures. Now they are removing the mask and saying, we are the ones. Make no confusion about it. We are the ones that control your economy. We are the ones that control your educational system. We are the ones that control what your children watch. We can manipulate technology. I thought we would have time today. I would have shown you a few documentaries that will shock you. Maybe next week we'll do that. Right? And we'll be shocked to see the extent to which this antichrist system is already building the system of Babylon. Taking anything that looks like God out. There are two things that are of concern to me. Number one is what we call the demonic doctrine of universalism. Let me explain to you what that means. Look up please. The teaching that every religion is an aspect of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That is just different sides of seeing the same thing. Have you been taught that? So, there are all kinds of Christian sects, especially. Occultic sects branching out. Sitio Christian sects. And they have one mission. To be able to market this doctrine of, in quote, love and universalism. That means it doesn't matter. There are different ways to get to God. Rather than criticizing me, find my similarity with you. So that we become friends. Are you seeing that now? It is the same spirit of Acts chapter 16. When a lady who was with the spirit of divination, when Paul entered the city, what happened? She started looking for the areas of similarity. He is fivefold, I am fivefold. He said, these are mighty men. Why? So that if Paul preaches for three or days or one week and goes out, people will say, you are the friend of Paul. So we will listen to him. The system of darkness. Eating people up. I've said it again and again. I, I, I pray so much, especially for our little children who are growing because the system was well designed. This is not something that started 10 years ago, 20 years, 100 years. No. It's a strategy by the devil. Right? They worked with demons to manufacture AIDS. They worked with demons to manufacture cancer. 
They work with demons to bring Ebola. They are, they are a deceitful people. They claim they love Africa. They claim they love the nations. They have sold their souls to the devil. There is no iota of love in them. They stand and tell lies because they own the televisions that give the news. They own the papers that bring the news. Are you ready for tonight's teaching? And right now, there is no hiding again. They are already beginning to come one by one. Opening up the fact that the fraternity of darkness they are involved with is the source of their strength. They have acquired all the money. They have acquired all the fame and everything. And they are now manipulating people. But the, another point, I told you that the point of concern is this music. Why? Why is the attention of darkness so much on music? I will tell you why. I began to find out that it was an ancient mystery. That every time it was time to bow to a king or a deity, music will precede that homage. Please, are you hearing what I'm saying? This is a, this is, I pray that you will get what I'm saying. It was the custom of kings in ancient times. They would stand upon the pinnacle of their temples. And so they will now say, all hail the king, and there will be shofars that will be blown, right? And at the sounding of that shofar, the entire nation will bow. If it was a graven image, they would do the same thing. Was that not what happened in the days of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? You remember, they told them that music will be played. The moment you hear that music, know that it is now time. What follows that is a bowing, and that's the same thing that is happening. So the devil is already using the weapon of music to force men to bow to this god of gold. That stature called the Antichrist. Let me tell you something. I'm already seeing the formation of the government of the Antichrist upon the earth. It's not something that will happen in one day or 10 years or 20 years, but it is a formation. There is already a formation of that godless system. And if the church of the Lord Jesus Christ does not arise to sustain the strategy from the spirit, to be able to raise a standard, then very soon we are going to be victims. So there is an emergence. Because the Bible told us the moment you see darkness covering the earth, at the same time, coincidentally, the army is rising. See that? So it's a teaching that prepares us, revealing to us that every day brings us into the reality of prophecy. Every day. Everything that happens across the nation is right now prophetic. Politicians understand right now that they are in the middle of prophecy. Individuals understand right now that they are in the middle of prophecy. Did you know that Koinonia, you're coming here, they are all interwoven in the prophecies of this book. We may never know. You may not find a place in this book written Joshua Selman or your name, but it is all part of the prophetic agenda of God. Whether you believe it or not, Jesus is coming soon. Let me repeat myself. Whether you believe it or not, I'm announcing to you that Jesus is coming soon. Gullible preachers prefer talking about money than that, but I am telling you, Jesus is coming soon. Say amen. He's coming soon. But before he's coming, he gave us an assurance that there will be a global awakening. There will be an arising and imagining clash of kingdoms. So there is a prophecy that is upon the world that the knowledge of evil, the rage of evil will increase. The fierceness of wickedness will begin to multiply because the spirits that have been kept until this season, as they are released from the pit of darkness, they come with fierce anger. The Bible says Satan has fallen upon the earth with great fury because he knows his time is short. There is, there are unleashing anointing is the target. So marriages right now are under attack. Right? Marriage is under attack. All kinds of things happening. The devil is coming with all sorts of strategies and gimmicks. But there is a generation that will call him a liar. But at the same time, there is a prophet.